I very rarely talk about the archons. I, talk, I, I keep away from the, the subject because it is a very, very difficult subject and many people would misunderstand perhaps what I say. But you're a great bunch of people, so why don't we talk about the Archons? The Archons are non-physical, and they actually manipulate the reptilian force, although the reptilians are so proud that they wouldn't accept that. The Archons, uh, and I have had a conversation with a good friend of mine just on this subject, the Archons are in their own way trapped and they can see the way that the human race is developing and they need to leave. They cannot leave through the portal because the portal is on the verge of collapsing. So all this has been known for many thousands of years and as sad as it is and as I'm sure as um, many people would argue with me who have a very accepted view of science all of the great big advances or most of the great big advances that, that have come from the human race have come with the help from something else um, not penicillin something like that let's take that for, for argument's sake that was created by by Lister I think and basically those type of uh, discoveries or rediscoveries uh, are natural uh, the brilliance of the human mind but if we look at say the industrial revolution if we look at the creation of atomic power these very 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 little uh, developments in human technologies have been brought about for one purpose and that is to force the human race ahead of its normal plan to develop technologies that will enable uh, these creatures to obtain what they need. For instance, if you wanted to build a spacecraft of an enormous size, you would need nearly all of the population to build it for you. And you would also need the raw materials, the exotic materials, the processes and so Earth and the humans on Earth have for the last 200, 300 years technologically advanced at an unnatural rate. I don't care what any scientist says to me. So the way that the human race has evolved technically is unnaturally fast. It's outstripped humans' spiritual understanding. And that was deliberate because had the spiritual development been in peace, then many, many people would have said, slow down, this isn't right. But because our spiritual development has been artificially held back and our technological advances have been um, synthetically pushed upwards, we have been led to believe that this is the only way forward, that technology is the saviour. And if those of you who can remember the 1970s, that was the great period where people were told that science was going to save the world. We would have, you know, we'd run out of food if we didn't have this, or we'd have nowhere to live. We now have corporations all over the globe manufacturing uh, very advanced technologies. These technologies have been created by people because this energy that I refer to, the archonic energy, was incapable of creating it itself because it's not corporeal, it's not no body. It is an intelligence, it is an energy that physically cannot create. But what it's done is it's gone in and captured the minds of the leaders uh, in many countries and the individuals who exert power. And through them it has created a massive network it's very clever, so uh, I will say that. It's very clever. It's very manipulative. Now, this is where the ideas of killing three-quarters of the population come from. Because once this device has been built, or once the technologies have reached a set level, they then say, we don't need any more technology. We have what we need. We don't need the people. 
And this is where it's about. And now the top arm of the Illuminati have jumped on that and they've said, oh yes, because then we can enjoy the planet without having to look at all these useless people. So we have two, two threads here. The, the top Illuminati who have been promised the Earth and they can walk in Central Park and they won't see anybody else because everyone else is dead. And then you have the Arconic group which are saying once we have achieved the technological level well we will just destroy these people because they've created for us this technology. What people don't realize is that if that were ever to happen, which it's not going to, but if it was ever to happen, this little group of Illuminati who think they're going to inherit the world would also be destroyed because they will become a hindrance because their knowledge is very great. And, you know, there are a number of people now in very high up positions who have woken up to that. And that is why we're getting a kickback and we're getting a lot of help. So um, what I would say is that um, there are unseen energies at work which have manipulated the human race for thousands of years in ways that even researchers of our subject are not aware of. Even people who have spent 20 years researching this, some of them don't grasp just how uh, manipulated the human race has been. And that's why the human race has been allowed to increase its population um, so that uh, statistically more scientists are born. You increase the pool, therefore you increase the, uh, the genetic chance of somebody being a genius. And this is a reason for this, because all these people are being identified at a very early age and siphoned off and end up working in universities or corporations who are then given contracts. They work on those contracts never to see whatever happens to them because they are taken and used towards this goal that this uh, un unseen consciousness has. Uh, and people in the Vatican uh, have thrown their lot in with it because they believe they are on the winning side. Or they did think that. And now we have a situation where there's a lot of doubt, which is the winning side. Um, so, you know, that's, that's where we are at the moment. So basically, um, that's still continuing, but the changes that have occurred in the last five years have been such that the outcome is in doubt from their perspective. In other words, they've always believed that they would get what they wanted, but for the last five years, they now doubt that they can possibly achieve it, and this is why different groups like the White Dragon Society, the Red Dragon Society, the whole uh, group of the Knights Templars are taking themselves away from what was at one time one solid um, elite organization. They are fracturing left, right and center. Thank <laughs> you.